Op's husband and best friend have been cheating on her for five years. Found out that my husband has been cheating on me for five years with my best friend. I 39 married my childhood sweetheart 40 m almost a decade back. We have known each other all our lives we were neighbors, went to the same school, played together, grew up together, fell in love and have been each other's first in every possible sense. In high school, we were a group of six friends, four females, two males including me and Hector. I was dating Hector, and another friend Sally, female was dating Trey, male. I married Hector in 2011, same year, Sally got married to Trey. We relocated to the same city after marriage and our friendship grew only stronger. In 2014, Trey passed away in a road accident. Obviously it was an extremely painful time for all of us. Hector and I were planning a family which we put a hold on and decided to move closer to Sally's place so that we could support her unconditionally. Sally heavily relied on us emotionally. She slipped into depression. Due to my nature of work, I couldn't stay at home unlike Hector who was between jobs at that time. He managed our household chores as well as ensured to be there for Sally. I really appreciated his gesture and loved him all the more for his emotional maturity and kindness. I was in a more stable job and was supporting us and tried to be there as much as possible. In 2016, my son was born, and in 2018, I had my daughter. Everything was going wonderful in hindsight, almost feels like a dream. My parents wanted to see the grandkids but due to COVID, they haven't been around much. I planned a trip with kids to my parents' place. Hector said that he had official commitments and can't get out of it. The trip was two weeks long. Anyway, my mother suggested that I could take a two-three day break with Hector and leave the kids with them. Seemed like a brilliant idea, I jumped on it. I planned a surprise for Hector on Valentine's and booked an overnight staycation at a luxurious hotel. I reached home on 14th at around 11 a.m. and found Hector and Sally in a compromising position in the living room, on the ducking sofa. Ducking sofa. I stood there in complete shock for a few seconds which felt like ages. My whole world crashed in that moment. There were apologies. There were words that I don't remember. There were tears. A lot of it. I can't even begin to put it in words how I felt. I feel angry, hurt, sad, broken, humiliated, betrayed and I want to die because that seems like a better option than to live in my current reality. I stayed at the hotel I booked for the both of us and asked Hector not to reach out to me. Hector came to the hotel on 15th, and when I asked how long this has been going on, he said that it had been only a few weeks. I asked him the exact date when it happened for the first time, and he stammered. After a lot of prodding and requests, he confessed that they had been doing it on and off for five years. He said that Sally was extremely vulnerable after Trey's passing and they bonded emotionally. Then, he said that I'd always be tired and didn't want to have S time with him. Well, sorry if our son kept me up and my responsibilities went over the roof. Sorry for not asking his DCK because I was taking care of our son who was completely dependent on me for survival. Sorry for not being able to coddle him because our son needed my attention. After the screaming went on for a while, he said that he feels sorry for whatever he has done. I asked if Sally hasn't dated anyone after Trey's demise because she is dating him? He nodded. I felt like I couldn't breathe. He kept begging me to not leave him and that he will mend his ways. And that he loves the kids a lot. He doesn't want our kids to come from a broken home. He says that he loves me a lot and can't imagine his life without me. He also says that he doesn't know what he feels for Sally, but is willing to cut all ties with her and even move to different city if that's what I need. Sally messaged me saying that she never wanted to break our family and that she was extremely lonely he was emotionally and physically available and it just happened and that they didn't plan it. She, also, says that she is willing to do whatever I want her to. Feels like my head will explode. I have been crying inconsolably and my mind cannot function anymore.
I feel like my whole world has been a lie. The birth of my daughter has been a lie. All our holidays, dinners, laughs, special moments. All of it has been a lie. We had weekend dinners with each other, every ducking week. She used to babysit my kids, she is their favorite aunt. She has been a part of our family, all the while, she was ducking my husband. I can't get the image out of my head of Hector asking her. I keep thinking about my children, and then about what a ducking lie my life has been. Who do I talk to? Who do I trust? None of it makes sense anymore. Open to any decking suggestions and comments at this stage. Update. Found out that my husband cheating with my best friend for five years. First things first, thank you for your replies and DMs. It is helping me to hold on to whatever little sanity that's left in me. My first impulse was to scream in public and post everything on various social media platforms but I was also aware that once posted in public knowledge, it couldn't be undone. I am dealing with a lot of heckling right now, and I don't know how long I can keep up with it. This sub doesn't allow posting images, I posted a few screenshots on my wall if that's what it's called on Reddit. Anyway, Sally attempted and was in the hospital. It just keeps getting worse. I came to know about it from a few friends who messaged me regarding her health. I haven't responded to any of it. I called my brothers and told them everything. I am currently at my parents' place. My brother informed my parents, parents told my in-laws. I am glad that I didn't have to repeat the entire ordeal all over again. My in-laws and parents are still neighbors and are pretty good friends. They want me to file for divorce immediately. Yesterday. Hector came to my parents' place and when I said that I didn't want to meet him, he went to his parents' place. My mother-in-law saw Sally in the car and immediately asked Hector to leave. She, also, informed him that as long as he continues with his BLL asset, he isn't welcome there. There were a lot of words exchanged. His sibling's brother and sister knew that he had feelings for Sally and they said that a couple of years back while they were drinking together, Hector told them that he feels extremely protective of her and feels responsible for her. They swore they didn't know that Hector and Sally were ducking. They did say that they told him to focus on his own family rather than the widow of his best friend. Anyway, my husband keeps sending me messages despite my requests. And he is acting out, he is scared that I might file for divorce. My father-in-law has apparently told him that if I file for divorce and if he dared to make my life difficult, Bill will disinherit him. As far as I know, this is not going to settle well with him because he will lose a lot. Hector is currently working has been in his job for the last 1.5 years but he earns 20% of what I earn. I wanted to know if there's a timeline for filing for divorce? Does it benefit the party who files first? Can he claim spousal support from me? If I want minimal contact with him, would it be better to file for sole physical and legal custody? The mortgage of our home is in my name but I don't want to live there anymore because I can't get the image of them doing it out of my head. And now I keep wondering if they did it in our bedroom too, it keeps getting worse. What are my options? I want to see a lawyer only when I am sure that I want to go down that road. As many of you suggested, I am saving all the messages that proves their infidelity, just in case, if that's required. TBH my naive heart did think that we could overcome this and rebuild our relationship, but his constant heckling makes it easier to give up on us, if there was an us, ever. I haven't informed any of our mutual friends or colleagues. I thought there wouldn't be any going back once this info is in public. I am seeing a therapist virtually. I don't even know whether that's helpful or not because I just stare at the screen and don't talk. My kids are fine. It's 3.40 am here. I don't remember when was the last time I slept. Edit, I refrain from sharing the ones with horrid details. In one of the messages, he has written that if I file for divorce, he will KLL himself and then, I will be responsible for making our children fatherless. A thank you note from Oop to Reddit. I didn't think anything could assuage my grief but your messages, comments are acting as a cushion, if nothing else. 
I have spoken to my parents and in-laws, and I have shown them a few messages too. It pains me immensely but I am also aware that divorce is our only option. My inbox keeps getting weirder and his recent messages are absolutely bizarre. From pleading messages, he has gone to eplicit s time messages, to screaming at me, to telling me that he will duck and KLL me if I leave, and apparently, he will go on a Kling rampage too. I have voice messages of him emsturbating and grunting. I don't know what's worse, those messages in itself or my mind running wild and imagining Sally and Hector doing all of it. From a loving partner. He has turned into a monster. I wish I could block his number or force myself to leave it unread. I am witnessing a different man, a complete stranger. Sure, he has my husband's face and his name. But this is not the good-natured, loving, caring and kind man I fell for. He is petty, pretentious, insincere, arrogant and a selfish shoal. He is not the man I loved. My son has his eyes. My daughter has his nose. I look at them and wonder what did I do to deserve all of this. They remind me of not their loving father, but the monster that he has become. I feel ashamed and awkward around people. I think I am stuck in a what-if loop. I have a very supportive family but when they look at me, all I can think is that I let them down, and that prejudices will be a part of my daily life now. I never thought that I would be one of those who have breakdowns on social media platforms. How terribly the tables have turned. Ha <laughs> ha. Only now I know that it's easier to scream in the abyss than to deal with people in real life. Thank you for listening and thank you for your kindness. Anyway, my brother has spoken to an attorney friend and to our local police station. My father-in-law is having a word with H. I have lost my will to breathe, eat or converse. Typing this message took me 2.5 hours. I will speak to a lawyer tomorrow. Apologies if none of it makes any sense. My mind has gone into self-preservation mode and goes blank every two minutes. Sentences, grammar, language or words are least of my concern right now. Husband's post. A friend sent me links of her post. I was still trying my best to work things out at least for the sake of our children. She has turned my family against me. Her family is harassing me and now few of our friends know. Her stupidity is unparalleled as she decided to use the first alphabet as our name. It got to me and many of our friends know. My wife is sick. She thinks that she can show her money around and I will follow her everywhere. She conveniently skipped how traumatized I was after my best friend's death. She, also, skipped how Sally made me feel sane again. I have been living with a woman who is always tired to give me a BJ on a bad day, but somehow, she is always charged up when our kids need something. She turned me against my own children. She wouldn't have s time with me and if her highness decided to do it, she would make me feel s itty about it. I can't tell you how many times I had to hold my rage and had to try hard not to pin her down and duck her. She has made my life miserable. She bought our house and doesn't shy away from telling that to people, as if she is the man of the house. She has zero respect for me and has done nothing but smothered me. She keeps telling me to work harder, enroll in new courses, work on myself as if I am not good enough for her. She would also casually slip into conversations that she would finance my higher education, because BTCH thinks that she owns me. After the delivery of our children, she was on maternity leaves, she didn't even look at me twice. I had to hold the babies to gain her attention. Once I wanted to have s time with her, and she looked at me with such disbelief as if I asked for the ducking moon. She said she isn't allowed to have a s time because she has unhealed stitches, obviously, I wasn't going to be an animal. I was going to be extremely gentle and careful. But she made me look like an ashole for asking for s time from my wife. I remember very clearly that I told her that I don't feel loved by her. She asked what could she do and I suggested she could let me suck her bee east for some time. I mean our son was having his time with it anyway. She said no. Looked disgusted. Told me to grow up. And cried. Bitch cried. 
I was the one who was struggling. She cornered me emotionally and then broke down as if it was all my fault. She pushed me into the arms of Sally. Sally was comforting and knew how to calm me down. My wife just knows how to lie through her teeth and how to earn money. I am pretty sure she is having many affairs at her workplace. She always dresses up for work and is always tired when comes back. I mean what is she doing there? How many people are binging her that she is so tired? She has a way with men. I'm sure that's why she has my father wrapped around her finger as well. My father has threatened to disinherit me, his own blood. Why would he choose her unless he is getting something from her? My brother is not talking to me too. I was feeling a little a journey and sent her a few messages, my own wife. You know what she did? Showed it to my mother. Why? Because I wrote in details how I would want to do her. She says that I am traumatizing her. Bitch, I am your husband. She should thank me that I have respected her and her wishes all along and didn't duck her when she pretended to be tired. In my head, I have done one million things to her and the moment I share those, she feels disgusted by it. At at least my sister is on my side and told me that my wife is planning to get restraining order against me. What the hell is wrong with her? Why can't she behave like a normal person? Shit happens, people cheat, you work on it, you move on. I am not running away. I am right here. She could talk and figure it out. But no all she wants to do is play victim. Is it my fault that every time I get a be near only when I think of her? I told her that even if I am doing it with anyone, I only think of the kids holding on to her and not allowing me to get close to her. If that makes me angrier and hornier, whose fault is it? Especially my son, I am FKNG serious, he plays forward with me. He never leaves her alone. I hate that s at head. If I am trying to have a moment with her, he will have throw tantrum. When I told her that I regret we had him and that he makes me ducking jealous. She laughed as if it was nothing. Bitch laughed. Sally has been sick and I tried to be with her, to support her. And my wife made a deal even out of that. Would you leave a friend who just attempted? She is a threat to herself. God knows what my wife has said to her because she isn't talking to me anymore. You all are siding with her as if it's all my fault. Know the whole story and then decide. Fuckers. Oops update safe. I have been receiving numerous messages from concerned Redditors worried about my children and my safety. This is to let you know that my children and I are safe. We were able to get an emergency protection Devro for now, and we are hopeful to get a temporary row. At least my phone will stop buzzing now. Many of you have also messaged me a post by my husband. Unfortunately, that despicable rant is just the tip of the iceberg. I have 109 pages of wretched and vile messages most of it being horrifying monologues and DCK pics and it also includes very detailed RP threats, child endangerment he said that he would RP me in front our son to teach both of us a lesson so that we remember who owns me, and he will abduct our daughter because she shouldn't grow up with a whore mother. I have submitted all of it to my attorney who swears that ours is an open and shut case, all thanks to my deranged husband's outbursts. To the questions I keep receiving no, he wasn't like this, ever. None of us his family and mine recognize him currently. Turns out my husband and I remember our past differently. In his post he mentioned that he asked me to do certain kinky stuff with him and I rejected the idea. He didn't mention that within a few minutes he apologized, whipped a cake for me, had a long talk with me, and brought breakfast in bed the very next day. That's just one instance, right now my brain is oscillating between many similar memories and trying to make sense of this entire nightmare. I will not be able to post for a while. I need rest. Thanks. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. So Hector said he didn't want the kids to come from a broken home and Sally said she never meant to break up the family. What is it with cheaters and their lame ass responses to getting caught? Reddit or follow up, seriously. And when she said he was available physically. Uh no, he's married to your supposed best friend. Yes he owes his loyalty to Op. 
but as a best friend, she owes it to Op too. He's married, that means no physical. This might make me sound s especially cause Sally is in the hospital etc., but if I was Op, I'd straight up ask her, how would she feel if she found out her husband cheated on her? Make her feel that. I understand she lost her husband, but she gets no sympathy when she knew it was wrong and continued and knew that yes it would break up a family. Redditor 2, he has written that if I file for divorce, he will KLL himself and then, I will be responsible for making our children fatherless. I'm so mad how dare he ruins everything including Op's mental health and then give this kind of disgusting blackmail? She better divorce him. Redditor follow up. Me and another Redditor commented on her post that maybe the husband got a rise out of being around such a vulnerable and emotionally dependent person like Sally, because his own wife was in every definition better than him and didn't have to rely on him, rather he had to rely on her. The breadwinning aspect must have been a huge hit to his ego and he misused newly emotionally vulnerable Sally's feelings to start an affair with her. Even his siblings said he felt very protective of her and wanted to provide for her pretty rich for an unemployed bum who can provide for his own wife and kids, but okay. Don't get me wrong, Sally is absolutely still just as bad, manipulative for attempting, a horrible friend, and deserves every bit of hell and karma that she gets, but Oop's husband seems to be very manipulative and only wants things to go his way. Him saying they were never exclusive they were married with kids, asking when did he ever disrespect Oop when he just got caught in a five-year-long affair, refusing to accept her boundaries of wanting space, blaming her for his cheating when she just gave birth, bringing in Sally to her house, and threatening suicide, yeah. That's a textbook manipulator. I'm glad ATL East Oop's in-laws and parents have her back. Hope she soon reveals everything to her mutual friends too. Edit, turns out my guess was right. He is insecure, and extremely hateful towards his own wife and kids. Just see the way he speaks of her, and had the urge to RP her all because she didn't want to duck him. What a damn narc. I'm glad Oop is divorcing and getting a restraining order against him. Redditor 3, I love how he claims that he was never disrespectful of their relationship. That's what an affair is, idiot.